are some methods that you could do to improve your critical thinking. One method is having a study partner, having I, another student to do questions together, to analyze scenario together, and do something that is called role playing or role play. Let me give you some advice, okay? I see a lot of times students creating groups of students to practice questions together. I'm not saying don't do this because it could be beneficial in a, at a point in time. But groups that are two or three maximum is better than a group with 10 students. Because if you're going to be in that group talking about nonsense, things that are not relating to the NCLEX, you're wasting valuable time that you could be using to study by yourself. So if you're not going to be disciplined in your, study, in your studying habits and with the group that you're going to be studying, it is better to do it by yourself. I encourage to not have more than two or three in a group. This is also important, okay? When you have a study partner, if you are discussing questions together, make sure the person discussing the question knows what the answer is. Do not discuss questions without knowing the answer because you do not want to get the negative things in your partners or study partners thinking to be put into your own thinking. That is going to do more harm than good. But role playing, how can you do role playing? Basically, you get a scenario and you tell the other nurse, the other student, listen, you are in a hospital, okay? Don't put the question itself. Talk about the question without the question. So one of the students is reading the question, knows the answers, and is putting a scenario to the other nursing student. Hey, uh, John, I got this question for you. What if you are a nurse in the medical telemetry unit and you got a patient that is describing chest pain? What would you do first? That is role playing. Okay? Or role play that you are the patient and the other student is the nurse. To get the, the critical thinking going, without focusing on a question itself. And then, after both of you have discussed the scenario, go read the question together. This is what is called role-playing. This helps develop your critical thinking tremendously. Number two, as you're reading the question, put emphasis on keywords. In other words, read with intention. Don't just overread the patient is in the ER. No, no. The patient is in the ER. The patient is complaining. So there is something wrong with the patient that the patient is reporting something different. Read it like that rather than just reading the question and not really analyze the scenario. That is what I mean. Reading with emphasis on keywords. Audible verbalization of thoughts. I love this technique. When you are at home practicing, read questions out loud to yourself, putting emphasis on these keywords. Now, this you can only do as you're practicing because at the, in the NCLEX, you cannot do that. You have to stay quiet. But to develop the critical thinking is good because sometimes reading in your mind goes too fast and you're not really paying attention. Have you ever had the experience that you're reading a book and when you get to the end of the book, you go, what did I just read? You do not even remember 
the first lines on that page. You were reading, but you were not reading, actually. Has it ever happened to you? Do you know what I'm saying? Comment. Comment in the comment section. Has that happened to you while you're reading a book? It has happened to me. I hope I'm not the only one. Right? If the same thing happens when you're reading an NCLEX question. You think you're reading it, but you're not. You're really focusing on the answers. Or you're really focusing on whatever is going on in your mind. Or you're focused on, on, the, on the baby that is on daycare. Or you're focusing on the bills as you're reading the question. But if you say out loud, okay, let me read this question. A patient comes to the ER with right lower quadrant abdominal pain. Okay, I see. Patient has right lower quadrant abdominal pain. Okay, what else? The patient is requesting pain medication. Okay, the patient wants pain medication. What is the priority nursing action? Okay, this is a priority, priority question. You see what I'm saying? This is called reading or thinking out loud. That is going to improve your critical thinking drastically. Guys, give it a shot. Don't believe me. Try it and tell me if it works or not. So after listening to this live training or recorded session, comment if it worked for you, if the strategy worked for you. Did your critical thinking get better or not? This is another important key factor here. Understanding nursing knowledge, asking why. Every time you're dealing with a scenario, a topic, ask why. Why is this happening here? Why is the pain manifesting this way? If you constantly ask why, 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 your critical thinking will improve. What is the mistake that many nurses make? They don't really find out why. They want everything by memory. Let me write this down, read it, 30 times per day, memorize it, and go to the NCLEX. Let me uh, memorize a Q bank that I bought, whatever Q bank that you have. Let me memorize those questions, read it several times, memorize it, and then go to the NCLEX. That's not going to work. You have to understand the whys of nursing. That is going to help you improve your critical thinking. And lastly, follow a systematic approach. In other words, follow a step-by-step -step system. One thing that you're going to recognize as I review questions with you, you're going to see that I read the question the same way all the time. You're going to see that I follow the steps the same way all the time. I identify the keywords the same way all the time. And I use the strategies or the steps for the strategy the same way all the time. What, why do I do that? Because if you develop a systematic approach, if you develop a system, you will be better at critical thinking. A mistake that I see a lot of students making all the time is that they are completely disorganized. They're all over the place. They're reading the question, then they go to the answers, then they go back to the question again. Oh, let me see the keywords now. Is this? No, you need to follow a systematic approach. First step, read the question. Identify the key factors. Is this a prioritization question? or a content question. Read the answers. Do you have assessment or implementation answers? Do you have physiological or psychosocial answers? 
Do you have nursing interventions? What do you have? What strategy can you use? That is a system to follow. And if you're following our YouTube channel, you will start learning the system that NCLEX Crusade International uses. And if you learn it and apply it, you will do good on the NCLEX. Thank you.